Welcome, thanks for joining us on this tutorial about farm data tools. And uh, the focus of this tutorial will be on how to access the farm weather map. So just a quick snapshot of that farm weather map. Uh, there's a little screenshot here just to give you an idea. Um, it's showing all of the weather stations connected to this farm um, data tools platform all at once. And so this includes those provincial farm weather stations. And, uh, you know, the nice, uh, a nice thing about seeing them all together on this map is that you can compare the, uh, the weather real time, um, you know, compare the temperatures, the wind speeds and the precipitation all on this map so that you get an overall picture of what's going on. Uh, also, we'll get into how you can calculate the site-specific growing degree day accumulation uh, in some later slides. So in this tutorial, uh, first we'll start with registration and setup of a Farm Data Tools online account. You do need that account to be able to access the uh, weather map, but that weather map feature is free. You just need to have that account um, to be able to access it. And the second step will be using that farm weather map. And the third step will be calculating growing degree dates. So beginning with registration and setup. So uh, the way that you're gonna register is um, this farm data tools platform is on the internet. So you just need to visit uh, this website, www.app.farmdatatools.ca. And that's where you're going to be. Um, uh, you're, that's where you're going to see the login page. So uh, what you're going to do, because this is your first time visiting this website, you're going to click on "Don't have an account." So from there, it's going to bring you to this sign up page, uh, step number one here, and you're going to fill in your name, your email address, and the rest of the details here. You're going to pick a password, and then you're going to click create account. So make sure you save that password somewhere safe. You would be able to um, create a new password if you forgot your old password, but it will save you some time if you uh, can just save that password somewhere safe. So uh, once you've clicked create account and all of those uh, details are, uh, are um, you know, put in there and accepted, um, an email will be sent to you with an account verification code. So that's step two here. You're going to check the email address that you signed up with, and it's going to say, thank you for signing up. Here's your verification code. And then um, I, after that um, sign up page on that, that same web address, it's going to be asking you to uh, verify your account. So that's where you would input the verification code that was emailed to you. Um, if you didn't get that code, then uh, you can click didn't get a code and uh, see if that uh, helps you out. So after you have verified your account, you're now ready to log in with your, uh, your new username and password. So you only have to go through that step once and uh, you've got an account that you're able to use. Okay, so now... Um, I'm going to stop sharing this presentation and I'm going to uh, share the website with you uh, live so that we can uh, go through it together. Okay, so here we are on the website, uh, www.app.farmdatatools.ca. And uh, this is what's called your dashboard. So this is where uh, we've got existing tools, uh, where new tools will be found. And it's just a really quick way, as soon as you log in, that you can quickly access that farm weather. Um, but we also have this uh, side navigation panel here where you can see, uh, you can always get back to the dashboard, but you could also visit farm weather from, from the side here, wherever you are on the website and then a few uh, settings there as well. So that side nav navigation panel, you can, you can hide it, you can show it just with this button here. Uh, so just so you know that that's there. Okay, so our next step is to um, look at how to use the farm weather map. 
So we're going to go ahead and um, open the farm weather app right now. So again, you could do it from either here or from the side panel. And uh, just giving that a second to load there, you see that all of the weather stations have appeared now. And uh, what we're gonna look at first is how you can uh, change those weather parameters and see them changing um, on the map. So where you access the weather um, parameters is through this weather menu. So it's this little menu button on the top left of your screen here. And I'm gonna click that. And uh, now we've got access to uh, these parameters. So right now it's set to temperature. So it's like three degrees at this station, 1.7 degrees at this station. Now I'm gonna change it to wind and you see 9.7 kilometers an hour and 1.6. Um, the other one that's currently active is the daily rain. Um, so again, you can see that information. It's it's nice to see um, in a map view just to get an overall view. So you can also drag around the map um, with your cursor. You can uh, zoom out and uh, you can also zoom in, of course. So the next step uh, let's see. I, oh, I just wanted to mention like this is still under development. So these are the, the parameters that are currently available. Um, but yeah, we will see some improvement in this over time as well. Okay, so the next step now is calculating the growing degree days. So just a brief refresher on the growing degree days. Um, they're a measure of the heat accumulation based on the daily air temperature. And so uh, the way this tool uh, on, on our platform is set up to calculate those growing degree days is um, using the basic method. So that means uh, using the daily mean temperature, um, which is by adding together the maximum and the minimum temperature and then dividing them by two. So there's other ways to calculate growing degree days, but this is the basic method, um, which the the, blueberry, the wild blueberry growers would be familiar uh, with using. Uh, and then also uh, you would input a uh, base temperature, which is subtracted from the mean temperature to give you that accumulated uh, growing degree days. So the way that we access the growing degree days on this weather map is by clicking on an individual station. So let's go ahead and choose this station. Uh, okay, so we've got this station now and uh, you know you can see current conditions, but also if you scroll down here, uh, you'll see the growing degree day calculator. So we've got uh, zero degrees uh, automatically set as a base temperature here. That can be changed if you if you want. Um, but basically what you need to do is you need to set a start date. So we're gonna go ahead and click the calendar. And uh, you can go ahead and uh, you know choose as far back as you want as your start date and uh, your end date as well. Okay, and at this point, all you need to do is click calculate. And now our answer for the selected time frame with the selected base temperature uh, is 12.5 growing degree days. So that's how you would calculate growing degree days. And uh, you can do that for different weather stations uh, just by selecting a different station. And again, fill in the details and click Calculate. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, go back to the presentation briefly. Uh, just to be able to show you about the mobile experience.
So uh, this is not um, an app in the sense that you go to the app store and download it. It's um, simply available on the internet on any device where you can access the internet. So that would include your smartphone, tablet, or um, a PC computer, or a, um, a, you know, a, a Mac computer. So, uh, so this website though, it's set up so that it will um, adjust to the screen size. So um, you can, you know, visit that same website on your phone and, uh, and you know, play around with how it looks on your phone screen, but you don't have to download it to your phone. Um, what you can do though, if you want to easily revisit this site in the future, you can bookmark it to your uh, internet websites. So how you would do that is uh, this button here, which is always at the bottom, and that's um, kind of a sharing symbol. Um, where you can uh, choose to put that into your bookmarks. And then in the future, you would access your bookmarks through this book icon. So I'll just um, show you that in the next slide here. So after you click the share icon, you would choose add bookmark. And then from there, it would ask you to name that bookmark. So you could leave it as farm data tools. And then you would press save. And then um, in the future, uh, when you click the book icon, you would see it there as farm data tools. And then you wouldn't have to um, punch in the internet address. You would just simply click farm data tools and it would bring you uh, to your login page or uh, sign directly into your account if you're, you're already signed in. So that's a very quick overview of using farm data tools um, to access the, the weather map and calculating growing degree days. And uh, congratulations on being early adopters. We're still working on these tools. Uh, so if you have any issues and feedback, please communicate it to um, your relevant specialist. So in the case of the uh, growing degree days, likely uh, Hugh Liu with the uh, wild blueberry specialist. Um, and there's his contact information. So thank you for watching and uh, hope the tool is useful to you.